What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and in this video I want to I want to go over 2-3 trees and deletion, which I consider a pretty complicated task. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you videos which cover, you know, the practices and visualizations of what to do, and then at the end I'm going to go through hardcore examples. So as you see in this 2-3 tree example I have up here, I have no, I have letters, and I'll explain what the letters mean indiv individually in a second. But first, if you do not understand two three trees, I encourage you to watch my two three trees insertion video or my two three three four trees video, which I also have in the data structures playlist. So as you can see, I have this two three tree here, and I have letters. P stands for parent, S stands for smaller, and L stands for larger. Now, of course that s s is larger than l and that's all we care about but this whole node is entirely less than p and d is the node we are going to delete here so what we do in deletion really is you want to try you're going to switch the parent node if there is one if the node you're deleting has a parent you're going to switch it with the parent and then simply delete it and what comes of that is kind of is the way you redistribute. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch the parent and the deletion node because what I want to do is even though this seems like a really easy delete where I can just delete this node, hey, why don't I delete this node? It's the tree has a can be unbalanced. And what I want to do is I want to rebalance the tree here to make sure it's always balanced. And what I want to do is kind of make it like this at the end. So you know it has it still has both leaves. The parent still has both leaves off it or both children. So what I want to do here is now I'm going to switch P with D right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete D or I'm not going to delete, I'm going to delete the value in D and then I'm going to bring up this L right here. So what by doing that what I'm going to do is I am swapping this element the node that I might that I might be to delete with the in order successor. And if you don't remember what in order in order is, you can look at my tutorial in our in order traversal, but it's essentially the going left and then the item or the element and then trying to go right from the parent. So if I went left if I went left here, I couldn't go left anymore, so I would hit this L, and that would be my next in order accessor. So what I can do here is I can bring up this L, and as you can see here, then I have that little image I showed you before, where I've got the where I've kind of got a more perfect tree, where I've got L is now my new parent, S is to the left, and P is to the right, which is great because I I did know, and this does make sense because remember how I had S and L here in the beginning, and P, since it was to the right of P, I know that P is bigger than L, so it is satisfactory by the rules that P can still be to the right of L. So that is a simple deletion. That is known as the remove redistribute deletion. And the next deletion we're going to be working on is the remove redistribute solution. Actually, this is another example of the remove redistribute example that I showed you guys up here. It's just a little bit more complicated. So D again is the node we want to delete. And then I've got parent smaller and parent larger. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete is I'm going to swap the nodes with, I'm going to swap D with its parent, with the closest parent, which is PS. So I'm going to have PS and D. And so then I'm going to do the in order of successor. So it's it's um, left, element, right, where I can't go left because that's where I'm, go that's where the node I'm deleting from. So that's where I'm switching from. So instead I'm going to go right. And the next element in succession is SL. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move over deletion, and then I'm going to delete SL. I'm going to, sorry, not SL, just the S. I'm going to bring up the S here. And then when I bring up the S here, that's going to make everything nice and cozy. So then I just have one node here of an L, and now the tree is perfect again. I didn't delete any childs or nodes or parents or anything, and I successfully deleted that node D. Now on to the next example. 
Okay, here's another example, um, a tad bit more complicated and one more step involved. So again, I want to delete the node D. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to swap D with its closest parent, which is the parent of the smaller PS, as we like to call it, PS with D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete D and bring up its in-order successor X. And I'm going to put it right where the D was. So I'm going to swap those out. But now as you can see, there's nothing there. And I don't want to leave the X there because there's a duplicate node. So what I'm going to do here, this is the extra step that I'm talking about, or the more straightforward example, is I've got to bring down this PL to make sure that there's still that I don't remove this child node and that it still satisfies the requirement. So I'm going to get I'm going to put the PL in this node. And now I need I st for three children I need two elements to satis to be able to have different sets and different paths to go. So what I need to do is I need to bring up this S or the next in order element. So I'm bringing up that S because I still need an element to fit all the requirements. And I bring up that S, and then this was that L that was bigger than that S. And as you can see, this still fits the requirements because in the beginning, the X was between was was less than PL and greater than PS, which it still is. And then in the beginning, S, S was greater than PL, but less than larger, which still fits the requirements. So that's a way to properly remove another ode, kind of, again, a more complicated example. Okay, guys, here's another example. Now, this one look, may look very similar to the other ones, but let me trust you, you actually do a different little move. This is known as the remove and merge method. So again, I'm going to delete D. I'm going to swap it with its closest parent, which is S. And so I'm going to have S here, and I'm going to have D here. And once I've swapped them, I can finally remove it. So once I do that, I have successfully removed D. But now what I do, but now what I've got here is I've got an L, an A, and a B. And I can't, I can't if I moved all these over, so if I move the A over here, brought the L down, and brought the B up, I would, I would have an empty node here, which is not what I want. So that's not what I want to do. What I actually want to do is, let me put this all back, when I've got the B and I've got the L here, all I want to do is I want to simply merge these two nodes together. I want to merge S and A together so that everything is satisfactory yet again. So that's why this is called the remove and merge method. So then I've got S and A, and L only has two children, which still satisfies the rules. So that is the remove and merge, that is one, one remove and merge, merge example. Okay, everybody, now we're going to do another example. In this example, I've got, again, my basic parent nodes, but essentially the S and L and D this time are not leaves. Just imagine they have other trees, they have other elements below them, and that you have to consider reorganizing those paths or those branches when you delete a node. So again, I'm going to delete D, and what I want to do again is switch P with D again. I'm going to do P, I'm going to delete P, oh, well, I'm going to switch them for now, and then I'm going to delete D, and I'm going to bring up L. Now, as you see here, what's going to happen is I'm going to bring up L here, and since I brought up L now, this becomes S becomes a one node, or it has one element in it. So it doesn't have support. It cannot support this branch or um this this branch of elements, the T3 branch, because for every element you can for every element you have in each node you can have n for every n elements you have in each node you can have n plus 1 branches so what i need to do is i need to take this t3 over here and attach it to its sibling and make and i since and make t4 right here and put it over here with t3 and that way it still fits the requirements and that everything is solidified because t3 was the biggest tree here and we know everything in T3 is going to be bigger than S, but less than P, so that's why it's still okay that it goes there. And we know, and it's okay that D extends to T4, because beforehand it didn't, it, it, beforehand it was the D, it was bigger, but since we switched with the parent, we still know it's greater than, we still know it's greater than the parent, because the parent used to be up here, remember, and we got rid of that deleted node. Another simple case is let's say for instance this is the root node. In my other examples, the this is this is my top node was not the root node. It was a case that it was a child of something. But if you have a root node and that's all you want to delete, and let's say I've got 
trees or I've got roots below of A, B, and C. To delete the root node is actually really simple. All you do is you delete the, row, the root node. You don't need to refactor anything or do anything else. And then this is the new root, is this SP right here. So that's really cool. And probably the easiest one to remember. Okay, guys, now time for an actual example. In this example, you're going to be deleting 65, the node I'm redrawing down there. And for 65, what we're going to do here is we're going to first we got to find 65, so we're going to find 65, and then we are going to remove its closest parent, which in this case could be 70 or 90. I'm going to choose 90. It doesn't matter which one you remove. And so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to swap them. So I'm going to do I'm going to now make 65 into this D node. And now I'm going to do it with 70. And what I do what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually delete is I'm going to actually delete 70, or delete the D node, delete the 65D I just made. And what I'm going to do here is now, since there was a void here, I'm going to have to move up the 70 node, because I need to fill the void. So then I move up the 70 node, and this just becomes a one node of 80. So pretty easy example. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the 70, as you see. So when I now I'm going to delete 70, and in 70, what I want to do is I, I want to find 70 again. It's right here, and what I want to do is I want to find the next in order successor, which is going to be 80. And then with 80, what I want to do is I want to swap them. So I I want to sw swap 70 and 80, 80 and 70. And since I've done that. I can now safely delete 70, but it does that does something that I do not want, and what that does is it leaves a blank element in our tree, and we don't want that. So what I want to do here is, since I have this blank 70, is I want to, there's two things, I, I can either do this both two ways, I have to bring down an element of 80 or 90, and then merge those two nodes with the, with the next one in sequence to it. So it makes sense. So for instance, I could move, get pull down 80 and then make this node into a 8060 node, make this into two elements. Oops. Make this into a 6080 node and attach it. Or I could bring down 90 and make this into a 9100 node and then it and then um put it on the right side. And for my sequence for my um niceness, I will do a 8060 node. And that allows me to delete this 80 and make the tree formatted again as you can see. Let me draw a nicer bubble because I already know I'm pretty bad at doing this and I need one line here going. Oh man. So there you go. Then I just have my 90 and there you go boom and we've successfully deleted 70. Next up I'm going to delete 100 and simply all I do is I find 100 and then I know that's going to be my new deletion node, so I like to put a nice D around it. And I'm going to swap it with the parent, so I'm going to swap 90 and D, because that is almost what I always need to do. I'm going to swap 90 and D. And I now, I can't just delete this node, obviously, because I can't just delete this node. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the next in-order successor with, a ch with um, multiple elements, which is going to be 80. And so I'm going to bring up 80 here, and I'm going to put 80 right down here, and that's how I'm going to delete 100 to satisfy all the requirements. And 60 is going to go back, to, this node is going to go back to having one element in it. Okay, so now I'm going to delete 80, which is actually going to get pretty hairy. So again, I'm going to find 80. Let me just write it here. Things get pretty hairy when you decide to delete a parent. So I'm going to delete 80, and I'm going to put a D there, and then I'm going to swap it with the in-order successor, which will be 90. Or it could be 60, but that's okay. We will do 90 this day. So I'm going to put 80 right. I'm going to put 80 right here. And basically, what I'm going to do here now is, sorry, I'm going to put the D node here, and I'm going to swap it with 90. So then I could successfully delete the D node or 80. But I, I can't redistribute that, so I need to merge the nodes. So simply what I do here is I put the elements together. And what we get here is kind of a weird example. And probably the hardest thing to do in the tree. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to move that D node up, and I'm going to put down 60 and 90. Because I couldn't redistribute 
the no I can't redistribute them, so I merged the 60 and 90. But I can't do anything else, and this is an invalid tree, so I have to recursively go up the tree here. And basically what I do is I start looking upwards, I start looking at this 50 here, and then I see what I can do to redistribute or merge the nodes here. So I see this 50 and I say, hmm, what can I do with this 50 to possibly um, get rid of this D node and make a, tree, make a tree structure so 60 and 90 could live together? Because for as I know, 60, D was 80, so obviously 60 and 90 need to be on a different par. So what I can do here is I see that I can I could merge 30 and 50 and make and make a three branch node that simply brings them all together. <laughs> so what was that 40? Yes it was. 40 and now as you can see here I have reclassified this tree here with this node and now I can successfully get rid of the D here and just draw one line from the 60 to 90 tree. And as you can see, that actually works out because 60 and 90 is greater than 50, 40 is between 30 and 50, and 10 and 12 is less than those two. So as you can see, the leading AD is pretty different. And now we have a new root of 30 and 50 instead of just the 50 node. That is something to remember. So getting 50, um, 50 deleting things like that can be very complicated because you may need to redistribute everything and you may get an invalid tree at one point. So there you go. Those are the basic examples and pretty complicated steps of removing in a tree. If you have any more questions, you can feel free to comment and ask me. But also, I'm going to include a link in the description below if you want to look at anything and a really great PowerPoint that explains how 2-3D trees work. It's something I read to study up on this tutorial. But I hope you guys have a great day. Um, visit my Facebook and Twitter. I hope to tweet more. And give me any suggestions if you like, if you don't like my handwriting, or you don't have any extra software I could use, or just anything. The great thing about the internet is interaction. I hope you guys have a Gucci, Gucci day.